Got a little more horsepower than you need for this job, or is it about right? Well, I tell you what, for barefoot horses in that steep climb, we got plenty of horsepower here, probably more than we need, but then we know we're not getting stuck in the middle of the hill. Yeah. And they all need work anyway. The first project is to clear a big enough space to open up the ice for as much ice as they want to pull out, which is, I used to know a number. I bet it's about it ends up being about two tons of ice that go up the hill to the ice house. They first, uh, they mark out uh, the eight foot squares. Uh, they lay it out with chalk line and uh, so, because it's much easier to get out when they're, when they're pretty precise. Um, and then they score it, they open up a couple of holes all the way through. The ice at this point is probably, this year it's about 18, 16, 18 inches deep. Um, so they run the, the chainsaw all the way through, deep enough and wide enough to get one of the hand saws in. And then uh, they do that all the way along those uh, where they have laid out the, the, the chalk marks um, so people can start sawing. Other than the chainsaws, they're doing it exactly the way it was done a hundred years ago. It's very hard work. It's backbreaking work because it's, uh, the ice saws, you know, they're thick in the the, uh, the teeth are three, four inches and they dig in. Very uh, close. But it does take a lot of push and pull to get all that, through all of that ice, so. The thing they do is they have a little um, ice uh, auger that uh, it's the kind that they use for um, ice climbing. It's a little spiral piece that you jab in and it augers into the ice, but they're about eight inches long. So it goes down about eight inches, and then there is a uh, little uh, loop eye? on the end of it, uh -huh. an eye, and they attach a rope to that. 
um, with hand holds about 30, 40 feet long. Um, and then they start plunging the cube, the big, these are about four by four blocks of ice, uh, up and down so that the front of it will be uh, come up off the edge of the ice and they put boards underneath to kind of pry it up and then about 20 people haul one two three and haul their uh, uh, tails off as fa fast as they can go to get the ice up onto the uh, top of the ice and then pull it away to uh, to get it set up to chop up yeah there's a little scruff on the top three or four inches that is there all winter with uh, under the snow uh, but that doesn't that just melts it doesn't freeze well they can't be used uh, so they cut that off with a chainsaw and then they with the chainsaw they start cutting the big block into manageable sized blocks of uh, maybe a foot by six seven inches something like that square then they take putty knives and shave off the excess snow and the excess scruff because uh, that stuff will melt and then that kind of starts the melting process, which they don't want. The solid ice, uh, lake ice, is very solid. So um, then they bring down the horses and uh, I think this year they've got four draft horses. Uh, uh, 